Hi, I hope you're all having a great day today. Welcome back to my channel if you've been with me before or welcome in if you are new. Um, if you are new, I tend to try to uh, do videos about two to three times a week. They are usually concentrated on luxury and luxury reviews. So if you like those kind of things, I hope you will stick around and hit that subscribe button down below and a thumbs up or a like, whatever it's called on here, I forget. I'm blanking out at the moment. But today's video is going to be a comparison review between my two card holders. And um, I think they are both classic card holders. One is from YSL and one is from Chanel. So let's get started with that. Let me show you how they come um, packaged. They do both come in a box. I did not hunt the boxes down. But the Chanel is in a black velvet dust bag and it does say Chanel here. It's tone on tone black. I can never tell from my computer monitor if it's gonna pick it up or not. Um, and the inside is just like a cloth material, kind of like a cotton. And I do have the classic black caviar with the gold uh, CCs on it. And there it is. And I have had both of these for well over a year and I do use them um, quite a bit. So hopefully this can be helpful for you if you're considering choosing one of them. My Saint Laurent, uh, it comes in a more of a cotton uh, drawstring dust bag. This is Saint Laurent Paris on the front. And I have the red pebbled leather with the YSL in the chevron pattern. So the Chanel one, let's start with that first. It has one slip pocket in the front, there is one in the center, and then there are two slits in the back. Okay, so let's start by filling it up with some cards and see how well they fit. So I just have a bunch of random cards, room keys, things like that, just to show how they will fit. And there is one in the front compartment, and then let's do one in the center. And then on the back side, one there, and one on the bottom. And then let's do one. Oh, I already did one in the center. I did the center. So that is it completely full. And you can double them up. Let me show you that. There's two in that one. And I couldn't find enough cards to do enough doubles for all of them. But when you double them up, I personally feel it's a little bit too tight, and I also feel like it's going to stretch the leather out. So I do not double them up. The center one, I usually put some cash in. Um, I don't have any, so I looked in my wallet, and I'm like, well, I can't show you cash in the center, but that's usually what I do with the center one, not a card. But um, yeah, just to kind of give you an idea there. But you can double them up. I mean, if it doesn't bother you that it's going to stretch out a little bit, but when I carry these, I tend to just look at it as I am going with just the bare minimum basics that I need and uh, try to carry just absolutely as little as possible. So let's take all this out and let's see how they fit in the St. Laurent. So all these cards. So the St. Laurent one has the extra um, slot. There are two in the front. There are two in the back and then one in the center. And the Saint Laurent um, is lined in leather. This entire center part is lined in leather. The front part right here is lined in leather. The second one is not for some reason. I don't know why, but the front ones are lined in leather right here. So there is what that one looks like. And let's put some cards in there. So the first one in the first slot there, the second, and let's see, let's do the middle, then on the back side, starting to feel a little tight, even though they are not doubled up. There is one more, so that is it completely full, just with the, um, the ones that, uh, you know, one per slot. You can, again, double them up. It is even tighter, I feel, on the Saint Laurent than it is on the Chanel. To do them doubled like that, I personally 
wouldn't do it because I do feel like it is really going to stretch the leather out. I think so quite a bit. So I just am having trouble pulling this out right now. And yeah, see, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally do that. I would just do one. But when I was originally debating, I got the Chanel one first and I cannot remember if I've said this or not, but I have had them both um, well over a year and um, have used them both quite a bit. But when I bought this one, I was debating between this one or the um, classic Zippy coin purse. And the sales associate really tried to steer me towards this. I went with the Zippy coin purse, but I did come back and get this one later. She had a really good idea that this would fit inside of a full-size wallet. So what I do when I use it that way is I will have like my driver's license and I will have my, um, you know, maybe my debit card and perhaps my um, uh, credit card that I use the most and some cash in here. And I will just slip it down into my full-size wallet, which is my um, classic Chanel. It's the black caviar with the silver tone hardware. And it fits in here very, very easily. And I have done this before. It's currently empty, but I have done this where the wallet is totally full and it zips just fine, no problems. And then when I want to downsize and go to like a super mini bag, all I have to do is unzip it and there are my main used cards and what I need to go compact with. So that is really, really handy. And let me show you that the YSL does fit in here as well. Just throw it down in there. Plenty of room. So if you have a full-size wallet, it does not have to be Chanel, you know, anything full-size. It, you're not going to have any trouble fitting these down in and just, you know, popping them out and using them that way. The other thing I do with these when I carry them on vacation, I take the center compartment of this one or the other one, just depending which one I'm carrying. I take my room key and I stick it in there like that. So I usually am bringing um, like a small Gucci crossbody bag or something along those lines when I'm traveling. And it's so much easier than digging around at your hotel room door for your key. It's just right there. Or, you know, you could do it with if you have a, um, where you have to swipe the card at um, work. I used to have to do that. So, you know, it's nice to be able to get to your card very quickly. So that's, you know, another way to do it. So the big differences between the two are going to be the extra slot, of course, in the YSL and the um, differences in the chevron versus the quilting. But the biggest difference for me with this one, this to me is the only con on this one, is the logo. It is so big and it is um, where it sticks out a little bit and it is a little bit sharp on the edges. I have not had it scratch anything yet and um, you know, it probably won't, but it is a pretty hefty logo and it is it's sharp. I mean, it really is. So I'm mean, not sharp like you're going to cut yourself or anything like that, but um, especially on my classic flaps, I do not use this one in there at all because I feel like it could scratch the leather lining. So I will reach for this one before this one, but that would be the only con. Um, I would say the con to this one is it's missing one of the card slots uh, versus the YSL if you're comparing the two. It would have been nice to have two in the front and two in the back. Um, but that would be it for this one and that would be it for this one. And of course, there is a huge price difference in the two of them. Um, the YSL is currently retailing for $250. The Chanel is $400. So you do get the extra slip pocket with this one for quite a bit less money than the Chanel one. So that is something to consider. Um, I love them both. I would repurchase them both. I especially love this one because of the color and I really love the chevron pattern. I don't have a lot of chevron in my collection. I think just this and one um, Chanel Zippy coin purse. So it's different. I have a lot of black caviar that is quilted in my collection. So that's kind of the, 
the take on both of them. They are both really good. If you're looking for a card holder, I would recommend either one of them. So I hope that was helpful. If you've been trying to choose between these, um, just to kind of show you what fits. And again, I wish I had some cash to show you because that would be normally what I would stick down in there, but I spent it all last week and I haven't been back to the bank. So, well, <laughs> well, I hope you are having an amazing day today. I hope to talk to you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.